Sure, the maple trees of eastern Canada put on a show this time of year. But here in Cranbrook, BC, we have a speck treacle of our own, as the larches paint the mountains gold. We've got the highest concentrations of larch in Canada in this region. Now, these trees aren't just beautiful, they're also really interesting. They actually have a bit of an identity crisis because they're both coniferous, meaning that they have pine needles, and also deciduous trees, meaning that they drop those needles every year. But before they do that, they turn from a beautiful shade of green to gold. How exactly does that happen though? Well, they have chlorophyll to thank for that. They don't actually turn from green to gold. They've, they're always gold and just hidden underneath a green pigment. And so as that pigment breaks down in the fall and the tree absorbs that, the energy for the nitrogen and the nutrients from, the, from that, the yellow is revealed. Kind of like their own form of hibernation, storing their energy for the long winter months. When it draws those uh, nutrients in, then the needles fall to the ground. And the beauty is there's nutrient cycling going on. So those own needles that fall will then decay at the roots of the tree. And then that same tree can uptake its own nutrients. These beautiful trees have become such a part of the community in this region that each year there's actually a large festival. But blink and you'll miss them since the trees are usually bare by the start of November.